thousand friends. Ahoy, matey. Brayden, this sailboat race is going to be so much fun. Hi, Bubbles. What's wrong? Aren't you excited about the race? Well, I was excited. Then I tried out my new boat and look! Oh no, it's... It sank to the bottom. Yep, my boat goes right to the bottom. Forget about winning the race. My boat can't even float. Huh, maybe there's something wrong with the water. Bubbles, try yours now. Let's see if it works. Okay. Please float, please float. Look, it floats. That's awesome, Bubbles. I wish mine floated like that. I guess it's not the water that's the problem. It's my sailboat. I made it out of a block of clay because I thought it would be super strong. There must be a way to fix it. I don't understand. How come your boat stays at the top of the water and mine acts like sunken treasure? I don't know, Brayden, but we're going to find out. Let's go see Lionstein. I bet he can help. He's a scientist. Lionstein, you're right. I bet he can figure out why my boat doesn't float. Knock, knock. Well, hello, Bubbles and Brayden. Lionstein, I hope we're not bothering you, but we need some help. Help? Of course. Come in, come in. Lionstein, it's race day at the fountain, and Brayden's boat won't float. Hmm. Let me take a look at both your boats. See? My boat sinks like... like a rock. Well, Brayden, that's exactly right. It does sink just like a rock. But why? Why does Bubbles float, but mine doesn't? I know it's frustrating, but sometimes when things go wrong, we learn something new. Let's figure this out together! Wow! Sometimes you got to think like a scientist. Come up with an hypothesis. We can make this work if we get to work. And you just think like a scientist. Don't be afraid to ask lots of questions. Don't be afraid to try lots of things. Don't give up on finding solutions if you get stuck along the way. If you want to get your boat to float, there's a couple things that you should note. You just have to change the shape and weight. And now your boat can win the race. Then we're gonna think like a scientist. And come up with a hypothesis? <laughs> Brayden, that's what our experiment is all about. As scientists, we test our ideas by making a guess or hypothesis about what we think will happen and then keep track of the results. So, our hypothe... Uh, uh, our hippopot... No, uh... Huh. So, our... This is a hard word. Uh, hypothesis. I got it. Whew. What does that mean again? A hypothesis is what we think will happen, and the results are what actually happens when we try it out. Will we take turns testing the hypothesis? That's right, Bladen. You choose the item and guess. Will it float or sink? Got it. My hypothesis is that the bottle cap will float. It looks like a miniature of Bubbles' boat. Bladen, you're right. My boat is plastic and has a hollow center. Great observations, little scientists. Let's see what happens. It floats! It floats! Put a check in the goat. I mean, float box. <laughs> Great job. Your hypothesis was correct. Now, Bubbles, which one do you want to try? I want to try the coin. I think it will float. Oh, no! That one is a stinker. Whoops, I mean sinker. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it sink, Lionstein? Was it too heavy? 
Is it the shape? Ah, good observation. When an object goes into the water, it pushes some of the water away. If the object is heavier than the water it pushes away, it will sink. Let's try another one. Okay. The dice kind of look like my boat, so I think they'll sink. I knew it! Those dice are sinkers, all right. Ha <laughs> ha! Remember, the coin, the dice, and your boat are solid and are heavier than the water they push away. So that means that they will sink like a rock. Let's try another one. Here, let's put in the leaf now. It's light, thin, and kind of shaped like a boat on the bottom. My hypothesis is, I think it will float. Yay! It floats! Yeah! <laughs> Excellent! Good work, little scientists! Now let's try a sponge. It's very light, has little tiny holes of air all around it. I think it will float too. My sponge hypothesis is correct! Boom! <laughs> I really like being a scientist. Excellent work! So, now that we've tested each object, We've discovered a plastic bottle cap floats, a coin sinks, dice sink, a leaf floats, and a sponge floats. Don't forget, the clay on Brayden's boat was a sinker, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I almost forgot. I want to show you something interesting. We watched how Brayden's boat sank to the bottom when the clay was shaped like a square. What if we changed its shape? Change its shape? How? <laughs> well, my hypothesis, or guess, is that the clay won't sink if we make it flatter and add a hollow area, like this. Wowza! Lionstein, that's like magic! Brayden, it's floating! Amazing! But Bubbles, I think that's actually called science! <laughs> well, little scientist! Sometimes science does seem like magic, but it's actually simple. The shape and weight of an object change the way it behaves in water. Clay is a material that lets us change its shape. Sometimes you got to think like a scientist. Come up with an hypothesis. We can make this work if we get to work. And you just think like a scientist. Don't be afraid to ask lots of questions. Don't be afraid to try lots of things. Don't give up on finding solutions if you get stuck along the way. If you want to get your boat to float, there's a couple things that you should note. You just have to change the shape and weight. And now your boat can win the race. Sometimes you think like a scientist. Solve any problem, put your mind to it. We made it work, cause we got to work. And we thought, like a scientist. So the weight and the shape of the material help the boat float? That gives me an idea for my boat. Brayden, your boat looks awesome. That's really cool you changed it to the sponge. Thank you, Bubbles. The clay seemed heavier, so I think the sponge will be faster. That's my hypothesis. Let's see if science wins the race. Great idea, Brayden. I guess we'll find out soon. Everyone, place your boats in the water. Ready? Set? Sail! It's a beautiful day to come and play and learn a thing or two. With Bubbles and friends, the fun never ends. We're ready, how about you? Bubbles and friends, Bubbles and friends, Bubbles and friends. Bubbles and friends, Bubbles and friends, Bubbles and friends. Bubbles and friends!